It's the epicenter of the now-confirmed avian influenza that has been detected in two barns, one in the Blue Creek community and another in Shipyard. And Blue Creek was also the site of an emergency meeting between Baja, the Poultry Association, and chicken farmers from both Blue Creek and Shipyard. Yes, as you all know, we got preliminary results from the United States on Friday last week. And um, yesterday, our results came back. And those results were positive for, for even influenza. But it is enough to know to, to take actions to immediately control and eradicate the disease and give the general public the assurance that um, chicken uh, is safe, poultry is safe, and, and poultry products because Baja uh, is taking the necessary actions. And as, as you know, the most stringent action, as I put it, is to eliminate the source of the virus. And knowing where the source is, uh, you want to, to, to depopulate uh, the birds at, that, at those farms. Because I say those farms because so far we have identified two poultry farms one in Blue Creek and one in Shipyard. And it was on the road to one major poultry producer that we saw this farm encircled by caution tape. Is it the index farm? We can't be sure. But on the positive side, Poultry Association manager Armando Kowal stressed that the situation in Blue Creek has nothing to do with the health of your $5 chicken or the frozen stock at your grocer. If I'm a consumer and I go to the grocery store tonight and I see Caribbean chicken after watching this news story where I see these logos, should I feel safe to buy that chicken? Yes, you should feel safe. It, it's very safe to consume the chicken. I have said it before. There's no need for you to panic and run to empty the freezer and, and say, well, this chicken's safe and the one that's coming tomorrow is not safe. No, no. It's, it's, poultry meat is safe for consumption. The eggs are safe for consumption. What we are doing here is taking necessary steps and measures to contain a virus that has reared up in this area. But what needs to be done to contain the virus? Well, a total of 28,000 birds will be slaughtered and their bodies buried six feet under in order to eradicate any last traces of the disease. It's a harsh measure, but one that was agreed upon at today's meeting for what seems like the benefit of all parties involved. Not only are they, it's not only is it costing the producers, but it will cost government, it will cost Baja. Uh, and so whatever we do right now is really uh, much less than what, what it could be if we don't take action. But those actions could be for naught if contaminated birds had already been sent to live chicken markets in Orange Walk Town. We asked De Paz whether he thinks that was the case. We're hoping not, but like I said, we're ramping up um, testing. So this evening we would have at least uh, 300 results more, which, we, which is representative of, of at least uh, 12 farms. And, and I want to say that the birds, uh, what Baja has put in place, the birds that are going for slaughter are being tested. Only negative birds can, can go to slaughter. So I'm sure viewers will hear you say that word hope and, and be concerned. Um, at this time, there is no guarantee that you have that these other farms haven't been contaminated. Yeah, we don't know what the, the spread is, but what I can reassure the public is that you don't get even influenza through consumption of poultry or through consumption of eggs. And not any even influenza is transmitted to humans. There are certain types of even influenza that have known to be transmitted to humans. We are prohibiting the movement of live birds out of the two infected areas. So um, that is already a, a stringent measures, measure not allowing live birds to move out of the infected areas. That movement will be prohibited for what is projected to be six months, although the experts told us that the time period could change depending on how the situation evolves. Sharice Halsell, 7 News.